Hey guys, welcome to the third and final week this month for my creative year. Our topic this month is passion and our prompt for this week is storm. So uh, in life, as most of you know, you have to get through the storms in life to get to the sunshine and happy place. And sometimes those storms are super passionate and super turbulent. Y'all know this, I know you do. How do we express that in our art and on our page this week? I have some definite ideas for that. Of course I do. I'm gonna use a blue. To me, storm storms are blue, in my opinion. I like this one peacock color. Um, so I think we're gonna use that. I have some white and I have some blue lapis. Do I want to use lapis or sky? Maybe both. Why not both? Oh, I have gray. Oh, gray might work. We're going to just play. I need to clean off my little dish though. Because it's messy. So I like these little porcelain plates as a palette because they're easy to clean and you can wipe them with a baby wipe. And you're not putting all those acrylic paint particles into the sewer system. Okay, there we go, yay. All right, so that's all clean. All right, let's put just a small like dots of this on our plate. Can you see? There we go. I don't think we're going to need too much. These are Dina Weekly Media paints, one of my favorite paints to art journal with. I love the color range. I love that they dry quickly. I love the, um, I think viscosity is the word I want or consistency of the paint. They're kind of a medium body. They're not too thin. Okay, so we have our paints. We need a little brush. A little brush and some water. I'm gonna need a scrap piece of paper. So I don't wanna get paint on the word. At least, at least not too much of the word. There we go. Okay, we're going to take our brush that's wet with water and we're going to water down some of these colors a bit. Obviously I'm splattering. I know I'm not talking. I kind of got lost on my page. Okay. 
So now we're going to put a little bit of this across the top in a few places and then add some water so it drips. You know, like storm clouds, uh, thunder and lightning, of course in an abstract way, because you know, this isn't a literal description. Now it might mix with some of the ink because the distressed ink is water soluble and reactive even after it dries it'll it'll still um, re-wet. I'm okay, I'm okay with that and we're gonna get some purple because of that. I'm okay with that. But we probably won't get it in too much. I think we lost our gray. <laughs> I, think, I think our gray just got mixed up in all the blues. So that's okay. Wasn't meant to be. That's all right. So don't be afraid to have some fun with splatters and drips on your page. I love the way that looks. Okay, let's see. So get your drips arranged in a way that you like and then dry them. Okay, now I'm going to grab a clean brush. We've still got our white here on the plate and it's not contaminated. Yay! <laughs> um, do I want to do it with a brush or just my finger? <gasps> I think I want to use my finger. So I'm going to dip my finger in the white paint and I'm going to just pick some random places and I'm going to basically push whatever is in that place back into the background a bit by putting that white paint there.
and again dry that white paint. Okay, I think I want to do some writing on those white spaces, which is why I created them. I got I got splatters everywhere, people. <laughs> I'm going to have to clean my table next. Okay, so I do think I want to journal on those white squares. The question is, what color do I want to journal in? I want to keep it pretty low key because I still want our word passion and the definition to stand out. Um, but I do want to put something on there. So I'm thinking I'm going to try my Arteza markers, fine liners, because I have a bunch of neutral colors in this set, which might work. One of those might work. I'm actually thinking this flesh colored one might be the right color. Let's see. Yeah, I like that one. Let's try it. That actually might be a little too light. All right, yeah, that's a little too light. Uh, let's see. Maybe. Yeah. There we go. I do think the last thing I want to do, I want to do one more thing. So we're going to take our stencil that we created in the first video. There's my phone. Somebody's texting. Okay. Uh, and we are going to take our magenta paint from Dina Wakely and a brush. I'm, I'm going to bring back our heart shapes. That's perfect. I love that. So creating your journal pages should be about layers and texture and interest. It isn't necessarily about covering the whole entire page. I almost never do anymore. Um, it's just about creating something that I think is interesting and that makes a statement and that has movement in the page. With this, this in my opinion, definitely has all of those. I love the idea that we were building on it all month, and I love the way it turned out. I can't see wait to see the way yours turn out. Uh, if you uh, would like to share that with um, everyone over in the Facebook group, we'd love to have you over there. You can join it using the link below. Uh, the most important thing is to go out, have some fun, explore your art, enjoy yourself, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.